What's up? It's Monday. Uh, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Yep. Headed to the gym. Uh, not a lot of plans today. Got some work to finish up. Uh, I set my computer up. I'll probably move it down to the floor because it just takes up so much room on my desk. And then I'll have to make a plan of where it's going to live permanently. Well, for a month. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I was able to get all the lights working on the computer, which is cool. Um, I think that's it. Whew, just got done with my workout. Um, feeling super hungry during it, which is weird, but I'm done. Headed home. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, it's time. I finally need to rant a little bit about what's going on with um, my Dell order. Uh, or I guess I should say orders because there's a couple of them and you know it's been super frustrating. But let me just go through it because I haven't talked about it yet. So first things first, it all started with this desktop. Um, you can see my order was placed on January 27th. Um, and then I ended up getting it on April 8th. So, you know, um, all of February, all of March, um, and a little bit of April. So it took about two months, right? Two months in a, in a week, let's say, uh, which was fine. You know, they did have to push back the delivery date. Um, and they said it was because of the chip shortage. Uh, I, this computer does have the RTX 3090 in it, which I know is really hard to come by. So I understand that, you know, the one, the one thing I will say is that around, uh, you know, mid March, most retailers like Newegg, um, here in California, we have micro center. Um, there's, I know a couple other states in micro center, even Amazon, you, you could get the 3090, you could get it without too much of a markup. But that was fine, right? Um, I decided that if my order got pushed for a third time, I was just gonna cancel it and do a full custom build. Uh, but they ended up uh, delivering it on April 8th. I think the second, after that first, first push happened, the second anticipated delivery date was like April 28th. So, you know, I'm glad it came 20 days earlier. I'm, I'm not complaining about that. I understand what happened there. Um, it's a bummer that they did have to push that back and couldn't hit that original date. Two months, I think, is a long time to wait, but I, I understand the chip shortage that was going on and no complaints there. But what's frustrating for me right now is what's happened since then. So uh, Dell has this program where if you purchase items, you get some rewards back. It's like a small percentage of um, whatever your total purchase price is. So I had about $150 and I decided that I was gonna buy all my peripherals through Dell. I wanted to get a headset, a keyboard, a mouse, and I needed two display port cables. Um, the desktop doesn't come with any cables, so I need to get those. Um, uh, these are just my monitor orders, you can ignore those. Um, so that's what I did. I placed an order for those four items. Let's see if it pulls up. All right, so I placed an order for those four items. So you can see them here. Um, the mouse and the headset uh, showed that they were going to be delivered in June. When I originally placed the order through Dell.com, it showed Thursday, April 14th, which is this week. And I was like, fine, that works. I can wait another week to get all my stuff. But as soon as I placed the orders, the headset and the mouse jumped to like June June 20th, I think. Um, which doesn't work for me, right? So I immediately canceled the order and I placed another order on Amazon for the same Alienware headset and then I got the G Pro Superlight mouse, which is basically, you know, the exact exact competitor of this uh, Alienware Tri-Mode Wireless Gaming mouse. So I did that and that was fine. And then the order was canceled. You can see here for the mouse and the order was canceled for the headset. So that worked fine. But what happened that was really frustrating to me is that instead of refunding, you know, all of it to my credit card, and then if there was any left over, refunding it to my 
Dell rewards account because again I had like $150 from buying the computer to spend in rewards that I spent on this it was the whole reason that I waited to not buy my peripherals until those Dell rewards hit which was a couple days after the computer shipped they refunded almost a hundred dollars to the Dell rewards which what am I going to do with that right I'm not gonna I'm not buying anything from Dell.com right now I why didn't they refund my credit card so I reached out to support a couple times about this uh, via chat and I was on chat for about an hour and they basically told me that they wouldn't be able to switch the refund from the rewards, Dell rewards, to my, back to my credit card. They, they said there was no way to do it. They couldn't do any manual refunds. Um, you know, I have worked in a couple of e-commerce companies and I know that's not really true. Uh, and I actually know that Dell does price match, which requires a manual refund to a credit card. So I asked the person on chat, I was like, hey, how do you handle price matching? He goes, oh, that's a manual refund. And I was like, oh, I thought you couldn't do manual refunds. Why don't you just push it that way? He said he couldn't do it. I was on chat for almost an hour. He said he couldn't do it. Um, so whatever. Uh, I ended up calling into support to see if I could just get like escalated to a manager to talk to because, you know, it has to be possible, right? There's no way it's not possible. Um, I talked to a lady. Um, and she wasn't able to help me either. And I asked if she could escalate me to some sort of a manager that I could discuss this with and she wasn't willing to. Uh, and you know, it's really frustrating, right? Because the keyboard and the um, display port cables are still coming, right? And I can return those for a full refund so that I'm fully refunded on my credit card and on my Dell Rewards account. And then I can place an additional order for the keyboard that I want and the cables that I want and use only Dell Rewards. So it doesn't make sense to me why they would make me take that extra step. Plus they would have to pay an additional shipping three different ways. My return, um, the original order shipping, and then the second order shipping. And that's, you know, three, three extra steps of shipping that they wouldn't have had to pay. So it's just, it's, it's crazy to me, or I guess just two, I guess just two. But it's crazy to me that that's what they would prefer instead of just handling on the back end. Uh, and you know, actually this lady in support, like I was really going back and forth. I was asking her to escalate me to a manager. I was asking her to explain how if they can do manual refunds um, for price matches that they wouldn't be able to do one for me. And I was having her explain how it was more efficient for Dell to have me refund my order and then place it again. Uh, and I think she got frustrated because she ended up hanging up on me, which I thought was actually pretty funny. So I ended up emailing Dell to talk about it. Um, and I think their turnaround time for emails is 24 hours. So we'll see what my response is uh, tomorrow, but you know, really frustrating. Like I don't, I don't know why Dell doesn't want to help me out. I already waited a lo super long time to get the computer. Um, it wasn't my fault at all that the headset and the mouse weren't gonna deliver till June. When I checked out, it showed April. Uh, and then it switched. It switched after I placed the order. It showed a different delivery date for every single item. They all changed. So I don't, I don't know what was going on there, and I don't know why they just won't refund it all to my credit card. Instead, they want to refund to this Dell account. It, it's really frustrating, right? At this point, it's, it feels like you know every other e-commerce company I've ever purchased from would just fix it, but Dell just doesn't want to. They want me to take extra steps, which is so frustrating. You know, I've seen a lot of stuff out there about people having similar issues. Uh, which did make me a little wary when I purchased this. I hate to complain about stuff, but it is super frustrating. I feel like they should have, you know, checks in place and the ability to fix this and make it right. Um, but yeah, that's my rant. Super frustrating. It sounds like I'm just going to have to return, do a full return, reorder. Uh, just, you know, take an extra week. But whatever, uh, moving forward, I guess I just know never to work with Dell <laughs> as much as possible. Um, at least definitely not order through them. Uh, but that's my rant. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it here. It's a pretty busy day. Uh, I did a lot of work. We worked on finishing up some mortgage applications for our house. Uh, so I'm pretty wiped. I still have a couple things to do and I need to edit this video. So that's it. I'll see you tomorrow.